In this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to name aromatic compounds. Question 1 reads, give the IUPAC name for the following compound. And before we begin, an aromatic compound is one that consists of one or more rings that contain alternating single and double bonds in its chemical structure. So while you see a hexagon here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and inside a circle, what's really happening is you have this cyclohexane and you have these double bonds around it. And instead of these double bonds, we just draw a circle. Furthermore, in real life, many aromatic compounds, as the name suggests, have an odor. And there are some compounds that are chemically aromatic, but do not have a distinct smell. So let's go back to this problem. We have to give a name to this. I want you to notice a few things. We have the substituent bromine, chlorine, and methyl. In addition, this is an alkene. As discussed earlier with the double bonds, this is actually an alkene, so our base name should end with E-N-E -E at some point. And when it comes to naming compounds with substituents that contain bromine and chlorine, you start from alphabetical order. So we should write down bromine first, and then chlorine, and then everything else should follow. So putting all those ideas together, what should the name be? To be successful, you'll need to know some common aromatic names. So a common aromatic compound is toluene. And it looks like this. So you need to remember one of these. And it's spelled toluene. This is going to be the base name for our structure. Now to name this, we begin at this substituent, the CH3. We call this C1, C2, and C3, where our second substituent is found and then our third over here. So we write bromine first, and this exists at C4, 4-bromo, 3-chloro, toluene. Now you're going to see in question number two that we have this ring, this aromatic ring again. And normally for aromatic compounds, you end with the word benzene. Okay, that's a benzene ring. Now the reason why we wrote down toluene here is because this is a common aromatic structure and you can use toluene instead of benzene. Only when you have a benzene ring with a methyl attached to it. Otherwise, you could have named toluene as methylbenzene. That's the IUPAC name. So it's more common to read this than to read one methylbenzene at the end. Once again, we need to give the IUPAC name and the common name for this. We will start right here, C1, C2, C3, and it will end with benzene. We have an ethyl group and an ethyl group, a two carbon chain on C1 and C3. So we'll write down 1, 3, diethyl, and these are one word, 1, 3, diethyl benzene. Now just before we conclude, Notice that we have one, two, three. These two substituents are found in the first and third position. When it comes to benzene rings, if you have substituents in the one and third position, you can actually replace that with the letter M, where M represents meta. If they are in the first and second position, you can replace the M with an O, which represents ortho. And if they're in the one and fourth position, then you can replace it with para or P. So we can actually call this molecule meta diethylbenzene. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to name aromatic compounds.